What's up? Uh, I'm going to do some leveling builds here. This is not going to be like an edited video. I'm doing this on my stream. After I hit 40 on my Warlock, I'm going to be just going to be no lifing this weekend. So after I hit 40, I will do a 1 to 40 leveling guide, like a new one. If you look at my channel, there's a 1 to 25 leveling guide. Obviously, you can ignore the 25 part. But if you go there, you'll find the basics of how to level and how to use your demons and stuff. That doesn't change. Uh, besides the fact that you get a fail hunter now, which I personally love to use. And if we're talking about demons, I will be using if I'm okay. If I'm leveling in the outside world, I'm using a fell hunter, especially because you're going to be leveling in PVP if you're on a PVP server and in Stranglethorn Vale, it's got a purge, it's got a spell lock. It does very good damage. It's annoying. It'll chase people down. It's I love it really. I like it a lot. Uh, I level 26. The succubus gets charm. So there's another outcome, another like avenue that you can go if you're leveling in a PVP server or in the open world, especially PVP. And especially if you're the Destro build, I'll go over a couple builds, a few builds for DPS and then a couple for tanks, whether you're dungeon cleaving or you're leveling in the outside world. Uh, the imp is great. Uh, imp is what I would use in dungeons. I wouldn't really use it in the outside world. One, because it's not going to help that much. Two, besides blood pack. Two, it just gets clapped out. You can just get sat by a rogue and your rogue two pokes your imp. Worthless. And as for your void walker, I love the void walker. I kind of go between void walker and fell hunter if I'm leveling on the outside world, only because the void walker can save you with them, you know, sacking. You can sacrifice him. If you're leveling in the outside world and you're going like demonology because you want to be a little tankier, then he has bonus talents to make him tankier, right? Uh, and then obviously the safety from a PVE standpoint is that he can AOE taunt if you pull too many mobs or if you're in a cave and respawns happen or whatever the reason may be, he can just taunt and you can get away or you can pick and choose which one you want to kill. Uh, the first one I want to talk about is dungeon cleaving because dungeon cleaving is, I want to say a meta right now. I know not everybody's going to dungeon cleave, so I'll talk about other shit afterwards, but pretty much right now, dungeon cleaving, you're cozy. You're going down fire pretty much all the way like you want intensity intensity is something that we can unlock now it gives you 70 percent chance to resist on your hellfire you don't get hellfire till level 32 yeah 30 i'm sorry so you get level 30 until you get hellfire i'm just slamming uh it kind of doesn't matter where you go with these by the way these last points you level 30 you really I mean that's gonna be 40 that doesn't matter once you get closer to there it, it really doesn't matter i would be using imp this whole time so i kind of even wouldn't even go down here and probably just go to imp that's kind of up to you if you want to use your imp points i don't really care about it because i just want to drop down here that, that those last final points or whatever you want to do as long as you have intensity and you go get ember storm because you're going to be wanting to do as much fire damage as possible we finally get hellfire at 30 until hellfire you can shadow bolt volley that's like the whole time the whole thing i'm gonna do right i have shadow bolt volley on until i'm level 30. if you really wanted to like if you really and you can respec like if you had a good chance to go in there and respec like right now we're level 25 drop two points drop i need to drop another point somewhere i was only one here right now i'm level 25 you could start with this and then obviously as you level put more points in the and the point is snipe all right and then run shadow ball volley because if you run shadow ball volley with this you are getting you run up to the packs you corruption a few of them and then you get nightfall procs nightfall procs would proc your shadow ball volley shadow ball volley gets buffed with isb uh, the only problem with that is you're already 33 by the time you can get that, you know, 30 you're at two points in there. Just kind of like no point. If you, if you have the time and people are like, Hey, I'm going to go respec, then yeah, do it. But I'm personally not going to have the time to respec. I'm just going to sit there. So I'm just going to keep running my Destro build and then use Shadow Bolt Volley the entire time. Uh, hopefully we get risk. We might not get it. I would run like a fire for, well, until I, well, I would run demonic tactics. Right. And then once you get hellfire at. 30 and then I would switch demonic tactics to lake of fire and what level is your reign of fire rank two level 34 so once you hit level 34 just remember to down rank your reign of fire so you will use the rank one reign of fire right so just you just incinerate to get your buff up drop a reign of fire rank one run in there throw dynamite if you have dynamite and just hellfire away uh you can use the void walker when you're in there if you want for emergency sacrifice because you will be doing a lot of damage especially at level 30 that hellfire is going to be doing a shit ton of damage to you and the mobs or just have them babysit and heal you if you're like me and you probably have mages in your group just let them carry some shit and just do as much damage as you can do mages have to be worth something right uh whenever i don't know when you're we don't know when you're getting into any of these runes just slap whatever one you get on right shadow and flame, it doesn't matter shadow and flame is the piss but for leveling it's like when you're running Shadow Ball Volley, yeah, you'll crit, but we don't even know how we're getting this. I'm assuming something's going to drop in uh, Scarlet Monastery, but this crit strike is not going to help you much if you're just doing the Hellfire build because nothing can crit besides that first incinerate you have. However, if you do crit that first incinerate, that's going to be dope because you have 10 seconds of extreme fire damage. I would just use whatever. I don't, don't want to talk about the runes because we don't know which ones we're getting on those ones. For this one, I'm running incinerate. For this, yeah, I'm just gonna run incinerate period point blank. I don't care. You can also run everlasting affliction if you are doing the, if you went affliction for nightfall for shadow of all in the beginning. But I think 
quote think i think mobs are gonna die before you will be able to have to refresh a corruption but nobody knows and in demonic knowledge just use demonic knowledge i think at level i looked at my i had a warlock at level 38 or something like that on classic era and i looked to see how much stamina and it had it had and my succubus had like that was my succubus ended up giving me like 26 spell damage or something at level 38 37 38 so i can't imagine what it's gonna be at 40 but and my it gave out more than my imp did but that's era i don't know if it's gonna be the same as it is on season of discovery but i'm definitely just gonna use demonic knowledge i don't care about dance of the wicked if i'm dpsing and shadow flame could be nice if you get shadow flame i wouldn't i, I if i got shadow flame i'd probably flirt with it a little bit uh to see how much damage it does because right now we don't know how much damage it does so i'm still hoping coping that this is the kata version of shadow flame which is absolutely broken i just don't i can't expect it to be you know what i mean so i'm expecting i would just use demonic knowledge uh yeah and i'll just stay in the fire tree this is for dungeon cleaving now the same thing goes for if you're leveling in the open world and you feel like being destro like you're just pvping because chaos bolt does hit kind of hard you just you could just do the same thing except you're not going to run lake of fire just run demonic tactics obviously and then flirt with what i'm missing your rune the belt yeah we don't know what this is going to be like i said um and change that to chaos bolt right oh after you stop using shadow bolt volley by the way just you can just put it on chaos bolt i've tried to say at 30. When you get hellfire just switch it to cast bolt and that's just gonna help you with the bosses or whatever else you want to nuke or a target's running away or you don't have you have two targets left and you don't want to hellfire because there's only two or whatever the, the case may be open world shit that if you're running fire because you just want to nuke people have fun i think it could be a lot of fun just run whatever pet you want i'd probably run succubus and let her charm somebody so you can gain distance you know get in center out there put a emulate out there fear it then and then launch a big ass chaos bolt i can't wait to do that i'm flirting with leveling in stv just to have fun leveling in stv because i honestly think it's going to be a lot of fun and if i'm being honest with you if you want to level in SC stv it's going to be cancer if you're trying to level an alt right because by then everybody's already 40 and they're just tormenting people you know the people who know life the pvp zones and don't let you do anything like in fucking ratchet you piece of shit, right so the best fun that i think you could have right now is leveling an stv while everybody else is leveling because like what are you gonna have you're gonna have a cup the sweaty sweaties are gonna be in dungeon cleaving right and then you have the people who are like i don't care about being in a hurry i just want to have fun those people are going to be in stv you got you can have some good chance of pvp maybe you have a couple of buddies with you and you guys are just running around fucking people up and i don't know how the coins work the blood moon shit yet uh, i don't know if you get coins outside of the event i don't know how any of that works but i know i don't know how nothing works for the pvp but i think it could be kind of fun to level an stv to start uh i might do that I would honestly go to affliction build if I'm in the open world, which I guess we can talk about the open world one. If I'm open world, I'm flirting with this. Uh huh. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that right there. Give me that. I'm flirting with that whole way. Who cares about the last point? Whole way. This I think it's gonna be sober master. And then let me see my master channeler. Give me my master channeler. Give me my haunt build. Give me my. That doesn't matter. Give me my. Uh, if I was running, if I had a choice of these, I would run invocation probably. I don't know. I, I will shadow and flame. You're not critting anything unless you're haunt crits. Grimoire synergy, I feel like is horrible, but who knows? You know what I mean? And then I'd probably run. Oh, I don't know what to run on that one. That's going to be demonic knowledge. I don't know what I'd run on this one because you're not going to hard cast incinerate. Demonic grace can be kind of nice as much as I hate this talent or this rune because that dodge chance is whatever. Maybe that dodge chance stays using the melees on you, but I use this because it can crit my haunt. Fuck it better than nothing but you can also use the money pack if you want i don't know you pick this one whatever you want um and i'm just gonna go affliction and i'm just gonna see a target emulate corruption amplify amplify curse my agony put up siphon life drain life with master channel locked in and i'm just gonna fucking wand his ass down whatever it is i'm just gonna clap um that's what i'm thinking about doing in stv you also can go into more of a soul link build but the problem with the soul link build is you don't get soul link for until 40. that's your number 40 taunt right so you look i'm level 30 33 with nothing too crazy right oops one more i put one more boy here that's 39 without soul link so while you would be a little like you can run this and then run meta i think and be completely fine but uh, you're hard casting corruption unless you took points out and went corruption right away just so you don't have to hard cast it which i could see this working something like this right and this is level 38 because really you're just kind of here really you just want that right like you're running with the, you're running around in meta with a void walker out right you have instant corruption you do your normal thing run master channeler as well and you just clap people out i think this could be a lot of fun sit in meta emulate corruption put an agony up uh uh drain life sorry with your master channeler don't worry about this this is not that much healing back and then spam searing pain and hope you win and you have a you have a sacrifice if they start whooping your ass you have a double sacrifice if they start whooping your ass you know you have a void walker out but you're seeing a mage and you fucking fell dom a fell hunter out and then you're able to fuck with the casters so it could be a lot of fun
All right, was that it? Any other builds I'm thinking about? That was a dungeon cleaving one and the outdoor one. Oh, a tank build? A tank one? Tankers, big tank boys. Uh, you need meta. I'm going to go Lake of Fire. I'm going to go Shadow and Flame if it ever exists. I'm going to go Incinerate, and I'm going to go Demonic Knowledge, and I'm going to go Fire. You're tanking. Now, I don't think you're going to hold a bunch of aggro. You want to rush to this talent right here as quick as you can. Sorry, like this. Level 27, you can get Intensity. My first two points are going in here. This is 70% pushback of that, right? Up until 30, you can't really Shadow Bolt Volley because you're a meta. You're kind of just letting your... DPS carry it and you're just gonna like taunt every now and then or whatever you're not gonna really you're really not gonna do much there's nothing you can do um, I'm gonna run down the intensity for Hellfire I get Hellfire at 30 put some range in there we, we now have Hellfire your Hellfire is gonna be doing a lot of damage at level 30 it's probably gonna do a lot of damage until I don't know 35 36 uh, I don't know if you're still not, I don't think you're gonna hold on mages but I have nothing else to really pull aggro from you after that I think then I'm gonna put my points in this searing pain and I'm gonna run down the Ember Storm I like Searing Pain because this is 10% crit. 10% crit is great. If you happen to get Shadow Bolt or Shadow and Flame, it's going to be really nice. Who knows if you're going to get it, though, obviously. And then just you're just opening up. You're going to pull a bunch of packs, and you know how you normally a, a mage, Ice Lances, or whatever you do to pull a pack. You're just going to start with an Incinerate on one pack, and you're going to run in and fucking tab Searing Pain or mouse over Searing Pain until they get in there. Drop a rank one Hellfire, or yeah, drop a rank one Hellfire or rank two if you're, I mean, Yes, drop a rank one Hellfire, even if you have rank two, I'm trying to say, and then throw a dynamite if you have it, and then that third slam Hellfires. Uh, you can be a super tanky build, which I don't think is going to be, one, necessary. Two, what's the point of being a super tanky build? Because you're trying to hold aggro, and I don't think you're going to have any... I do not think you're going to be able to hold the aggro off people if you're sitting there with this build. 40 is soul link, so don't worry about the 40th point, or that, that 40 point. Like, you're... You're... A tank's job, in my opinion, right now in, in Spell Cleave, or I mean any kind of Dungeon Cleave, is just to gather mobs and then just try to keep them off the DPS because the DPS are going to be slapping. Like they're gonna, I mean, especially if you have mages in your group, warriors are doing a hell of damage in SM. I think hunters will be doing a lot of damage too, but they can kite. Fuck hunters. Hey, nerf hunters, first off. But I definitely think that if you want to be this build, you definitely can. I think even in the open world, this build would be fine. Remember, I just don't think you're going to get far enough down there to really matter. Like you're at 39 right now. I just think that you'd be better off going Destro because you're doing more damage. You have pushback on your Hellfire, resistance on pushback on your Hellfire. You have more Hellfire damage. You have improved Searing Pain, just spamming Searing Pain some people. I think it'd be really cozy. Is that it? Did I do it? Are we good? Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else build-wise. Um, yeah, that's about it. Good luck out there. I know that was fast. I just spit that out a mile a minute. I don't want to take your guys' time on the video. On the channel, there's a 1 to 25 you can check out after I'm done leveling at the level 2 Warlocks. And then a Mage. And then a Warrior. And then a Shaman. And then a Druid. And then in, like another Warlock or something like that. But once I level my two Warlocks, I'll take a break. I'm probably going to be up all week and playing this shit. And then uh, I will do a 1 to 40, like an updated 1 to 40 guide and I'll post it. So this, so you have like an actual edited, scripted, me talking normal, my YouTube voice, okay? This one's just live on Twitch where you can come hang out. I'm going to be playing all weekend. And uh, yeah, good luck out there. Yeah, good fucking luck. All my Icy Veins guides are up too if you want to go check them out. They're not updated with the Bisc gear, but they're updated with uh, like the leveling and the talents for quest dun dungeoning, I mean raiding and the rotation. And then you can come to my chat and ask me any other questions.